I'm Tony Keith, the Christmas Light Guy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert your Coro spinner into a glow spinner. If you haven't watched my first tutorial titled How to Build a Glow Spinner, I highly suggest that you watch this first as it goes into detail about creating a custom model in X Lights and how to create sub models for a glow spinner. This video is going to focus on building and attaching a glow ring to your existing Coro spinner. However, I will touch on creating a custom model and submodels in X Lights. What is a glow ring? What is a glow spinner? A glow spinner has a glow ring around the spinner that glows like a plex arch. This is my Viscoyo 36 inch Coro spinner with 193 nodes that I will convert to a glow spinner. Let's take a closer look at the glow ring. For my glow ring, I use one inch diameter flex tubing. I started by cutting the flex tubing to the correct length so that it fits snugly around the outside edge of my spinner. Here's a tip. If you can, don't cut from the end of the plex tubing where it's straight. Cut where the curvature aligns. This will make it easier to bend around the curvature of your spinner. Next, I marked and drilled holes on the back side of the plex tubing for the pixels, about two inches apart, and ended up with 64 pixels in the glow ring. Actually, I created a custom model in X lights prior to drilling the holes, so I knew exactly how many holes to drill and where to drill them. We'll take a look at that a bit later. Next, I drilled holes in the coro part of the spinner and attached a glow ring using cable ties. I put the cable ties through the hole in the spinner and around the outside of the plex tubing and pulled tightly. I started on one end and worked my way around the spinner bending the plex tubing to fit the curvature of the spinner. Here's a tip. Don't drill your cable ties too close to the edge of your coro. Allow at least one inch between the spinner edge and the hole. If you drill too close, you could tear a hole in your coro spinner. Next, I push the pixels into the glow ring. Depending on the size of your spinner and the number of pixels, you may need to add power injection. My spinner already had one power injection point, at the 100th pixel, so I wired up another injection point at the 193rd pixel on my spinner. Then I wired the pixels on the glow ring to the end of the last pixel on the spinner and made it one continuous strand of 257 pixels, 193 pixels in the original spinner plus 64 pixels in the glow spinner. Now I've shown you how to convert your Coro spinner into a glow spinner, let's take a look at the setup in X lights. I've opened up X Lights and I'm on the Controllers tab. I already have my controller, an ES Pixel Stick, configured and attached to my glow spinner. I can demonstrate this by pressing the Visualize button. As you can see, the glow spinner is attached and has 257 pixels. This is correct. Let me close this window and I'll move over to the Layout tab. I've already created a custom model for my glow spinner with submodels. Let's take a quick look at the custom model. To view the custom model, click on the model data. This will pop up a dialog. Let's, let me move it over and expand it so it's easier to view. I'm going to move to the bottom of the model. This is node 193. This was the last node in my Biscoyo 36 inch spinner model. Node 194 is the first node in my glow ring. I match the distance and the spacing of the last ring in the Biscoyo model as I added 64 nodes for the glow ring all the way around the outside edge. Node 257 is the last node in my glow ring. Remember I started with the Biscoyo 36 inch spinner model and I added the glow ring to it. I'll cancel out of this, and next I will quickly show you the submodel definitions. Click on the submodel settings to bring up the dialog. Let me try that again. I will reposition and expand it so it's easier to view. The first submodels I have defined are lines or spokes. Remember, you can use your up and down arrow keys to move up and down your submodel definitions. Next are rings. Rings 1 through 10, with ring 10 being the glow ring. 
I also have a single ring submodel defined with all the rings as node ranges. Remember, if you highlight the node ranges, you can use your arrow keys to visually validate the definitions. Next is rings, no glow, which doesn't contain the glow ring. Once again, highlight, move up and down to validate. Next is the glow ring itself. Next, a wreath. And then also one that is called spokes. Quickly take a look at that. Now I've shown you the custom model and the submodel definitions. Let me show you a working demo of my glow spinner moving over to the sequencer tab. I've already created a 30 second sequence with some interesting effects, each being five seconds long, but nothing too spectacular here. First, let me expand the glow spinner so we can view the submodels. Scroll down. Okay, there's my effects. I will enable the output, but first, let me turn on my video. Okay, video is recording. Now I will enable the output. Okay. The first effect I call is Ferris wheel. Let me click on it. Kind of interesting. Moving over to the second effect I call Ferris wheel 2. A little different. Moving over to the next one I call Implosion. I need to run the entire effect in a replay section. Give me just a second. Stop this. Replay. Looks like it's imploding. I like this one. Okay. Moving over to the next one, I call Garland 1. Let me stop this. Garland 1. Kind of a cool and interesting effect. Okay, moving over to Garland 2. A little different. The next one I call Crazy Circles. And the last one I call Wheel. I also will run the entire effect in a replay section. Stop. Replay. Kind of a cool effect. As you can see, you can create some different and interesting effects with a glow spinner. It's pretty easy to add a glow ring to your existing Coro spinner and create a new prop and some interesting effects. All you need is enough hex tubing to create a glow ring around the outside of your spinner, some pixels, and some cable ties. Then create a custom model with submodels and X lights, and now you have your very own glow spinner. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new from it. If you did and would like to see more tutorials like this, please like this video and to subscribe to my channel, The Christmas Light Guy. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. All you need to do is press the subscribe button below.